Carve Solical, you brought us a, a lot of the details about this, but why have they essentially gone for Ten Hag in the end? Yeah, we've managed to get a bit of an insight into what was happening behind the scenes uh, during the recruitment process. And the process was led by the director of football, John Murto, and also the technical director, the former United player, Darren Fletcher. And towards the end of the process, the executive vice chairman, Richard Arnold, also got involved. Now, they interviewed uh, several candidates, but Eric Ten Hag, we're being told, was the unanimous choice after what is being called a rigorous process. Uh, Manchester United, I think, behind the scenes, making it very clear that they have uh, respect for all of the candidates who were considered, uh, but at the end of the day, they felt that Eric Ten Hag was the candidate who was most closely uh, aligned with Manchester United's identity and strategy going forward. And some of the reasons uh, that they've gone for Teren Eric Ten Hag, I think the first one is because he's a proven winner, if you look at his record at Ajax. Also, the style of play. Uh, the way Ajax play, attractive, attacking style of play, uh, which is aligns with Manchester United's identity, the way we've been used to seeing United teams play in the past. Also, the fact that he's committed to youth, bringing through young players. We've seen him do that at Ajax, and also he develops players. One of the problems that United have had recently is that players don't improve when they arrive at Old Trafford. They almost seem to go backwards. He's somebody who can work with players and make themselves better. And I think during the interview process, Eric Ten Hag was very, very impressive. He set out his strategy in detail. He knows all about United. He knows all about the problems at the club. And at the end of that process, uh, United felt, including the executive vice chairman, Richard Arnold, mm -hmm. that Eric Ten Hag was definitely the right man uh, to take over this summer. What about his credentials? What, what should people know about what he's done? Well, look, I think the major problem, as far as Ten Hag is concerned, is that he doesn't have experience of the Premier League. Some of the other candidates, like Maurizio Pochettino, for instance, did have experience of playing in the Premier League. But he's done a great job at Ajax. Some people would say, well, a lot of people would do a great job at Ajax. They're the biggest club in Holland. But he's won two titles. He's won two Dutch clubs as well. They're top of the league at the moment. Five games to go. They could win the title again. So he is a very uh, attractive, exciting, young coach. He could could be the right person, but I think still think that it is a bit of a risk. It is still a bit of a risk because he doesn't have that Premier League experience. But United have said he was so impressive in interviews and he proved to us that he wants to prove himself with all due respect at a bigger league than the Dutch league.